On Wednesday's Rick's List, uh, we have R&R, &R, where Rick talks to CNN contributor Roland Martin. Today, Roland is in my home state of Louisiana, and that's where we start the R&R. &R. Roland's live from Yawlins, NOLA. Uh, first, right. uh, hey, that's happy right. uh, Confederate History Month. You know, you being in Louisiana. Oh, please, and don't, don't, don't even get me, me started. Me being here in Georgia, two states that observe this. And it follows African American History Month as well. So uh, I don't want you to feel excluded. <laughs> And I don't want this guy, he doesn't feel excluded either. Uh, Governor Bob McDonald has declared this month Confederate History Month for Virginia. So look, I, you know, I don't want to debate the merits of the proclamation and celebrate whatever you want, right? But he says, but I, di I, I did go to the website. This is what I should tell you. I went to the website just to see what it was about, Roland. And here's what he said. He called right. the Civil War, quote, a four-year war between the states for independence. <laughs> what does that gain him politically by doing You're, this? Okay, for, for, first of all, here's your deal. Uh, and this is the, the problem. Republicans are always talking about how they don't like for folks to brand them as being racist or bigots, and I understand that. But the last two Democratic governors, Mark Warner as well as Tim Kaine, did not issue a, pro a pro proclamation. Tim Kaine uh, also said, look, <coughs> it makes no sense. The two previous Republican governors issue the same proclamation. And so who are they actually playing to? This is really a recognition, Don, of American terrorists. They were terrorists. Well, These were people who committed treason. No, they were terrorists. But hey, Roland, let me, let me tell you this. I, I understand what you're saying. And when we talked about this, listen, I, I'm a freedom of speech person. I believe if people have the right to say and protest whatever you want, if you start, you know, threatening people, if there's hate speech or that kind of thing, that, that's where you draw the line. There is a, a history to this country for, for Confederacy, but should we celebrate it? That's a question. Don, what he says, they were let me, terrorists. Let me, before you answer it, before you answer it, he says um, that what exploration we are going through a period where we need to explore our history and an exploration of our history can benefit all that's what he said and expo okay, exploration okay right of our and, I can, can benefit and i can all. give you and i can give you in 30 seconds versus a whole month what the, what the, what it was all about these were american terrorists these were individuals who were committing a sin against humanity who wanted to keep the system of oppression the degra degradation uh, an absolute uh, denial of opportunities for African Americans. Hey, we're celebrating people, and had they won, Don, you and I would not be sitting here right now. You and I would be in the fields right now uh, as property as opposed to being free <laughs> individuals. And so it's, it, that's like somebody saying, oh, we're going to celebrate uh, the Nazi soldiers by saying, well, they were only doing their job as opposed to uh, working in concentration camps. I'm not going to let these folks off the hook. This is a celebration of American terrorists, not, not freedom of speech, not the First Amendment. That's what it is. I, I get your why, point. Why do we want to sit here and play around with it? People always say that. I mean, we can't predict. We, can't, we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know how it would have been the other way. But Okay, well, let, okay, well, well let's start with what right they were doing. A, I think they you're probably right in the sense we I'm may not, not have, right, as African Americans, no, right. have the same opportunities. Probably. But we don't know if we're going to be in the field or whatever, as you say. Don, 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 had they won, forget probably, these folks were defending a system where people lo look like you and me were beaten, mm -hmm. were sold, where families were broken up, and their defense was, oh, it's states' rights. We should do what we want to do. You don't celebrate that. I, I would never support anyone celebrating a month where we honor Nazi soldiers who killed Jews in concentration camps. There is no difference between that and celebrating the Confederacy where they wanted to maintain a system where people, human beings, were treated like filth, like animals, like property. You don't celebrate that in America. Yeah. We can talk about it in history, but you don't give them an entire month and say, oh, it was just a war about independence. Roland. No, it was about the degradation of human beings.